Hello. Hello. Again. Um, I'm just recording this uh, to save it for posterity of sorts. And I'm going to read four poems uh, from an old collection of mine. Um, well, two, these are this is two collections, as it were. Mugshots and Poetic Kit. I'm going to read two from each one. I'm going to be doing another show tomorrow morning at uh, nine o'clock or something. Yes. Um, but uh, anyway, right. First poem I'm going to read is called Cub Up a Tree. <coughs> Little cub stuck up a tree, climbed so high to chase a bee. Been there some time, how did he survive? Because he'd found a tasty hive. All those bees were cross, how they wished him gone. But he ate them up, yes, every one. The kind townsfolk tried to help him free, but he growled a bit and aimed his wee. That put them off, hey, that dirty bear! Yet they passed each day to stand and stare. Still had his paw stuck, could not get down. His baby fur turned chocolate brown. Still slurped his honey, admired the view. His day it seemed he grew and grew. The townsfolk tried once more to help him out. But he growled a bit and flung his poo about. That put them off, that filthy bear. It still came by each day to point and stare. Whilst big little cub, now growing wide, did fear he'd fall but couldn't hide. Oh, how the branch creaked, it was time to flee. In the panic, his swollen paw came free. Snap, crack, the branch no longer funny. Big little cub fell, farewell to honey. But what lucky chance. Cub landed safe upon the crowd. He squashed them dead. Still those unlucky locals, they did him proud. Big cub alive, the townsfolk all deceased. But they smelt good, rather good to cub. Yes, what a feast. Lovely. Uh, now you see, uh, you read a poem before um, earlier when I was before I was recording um, about teddy bears, and that was a poem about real bears eating townsfolk. Oh, what a lovely story! Um, <coughs> so that was from my collection mugshots. The next poem, if I can find the page, uh, is also from mugshots. Um, This is called Things Ain't What They Used To Be. Things Ain't What They Used To Be, Part 1. Things ain't what they used to be, nothing outlives change. The shifting sands of time move on, drifting out of range. There are no meringue birds in the old meringue trees. Someone stole their nests as a witty student wheeze. No billy goats across the bridge or evil troll beneath. No toad residing in its hole or wombles on the heath. Things ain't what they used to be. Nothing's built to last. The quality has fallen or the greats have been recast. E.T. no longer causes ma'am. Daleks growing slow. They prefer to just play Scrabble in a cosy bungalow. The Rolling Stones no longer roll. The Beatles busk in mouths. Bill and Ben no longer buddies. The friends no longer pals. Things ain't what they used to be. Now everyone's a star. Classics to a penny manufactured by the jar. Alice fled her wonderland, the thunderbirds have flown, Harry Potter's lost his magic, Jack's poor beanstalk overgrown. The famous five are down to four, the secret seven split, Lassie's feeling selfish, even postman Pat has quit. Things ain't what they used to be, nothing's what it was, why can't it be like that again? Because, because, because. Right, well... The next poem I'm going to read is from the book that followed my shots, which is called Perticate. Um <coughs> It's got a long title. It's called If Diamonds Are Forever, Then Why Did My Diamond Lover Leave? He was made from diamonds, he was made to last, from the rarest gemstone, and yet now his time has passed. He should have been the one made to treat me right meant to be dead precious, so why is he gone tonight? He was supposed to be a stayer, be my very bestest friend, meant to be forever until the very end. Then why, and can you answer, does it seem he's not to be? Could it be that he was flawed perhaps, well it seems that way to me? Yes, he was meant to be my darling, and yet he is no longer here. Yes, they made him out of diamonds, but it was a foolish plan, I fear. But why does no one know the reason? 
Why cannot anyone perceive why if diamonds are forever did my diamond lover up and leave? Oh. Well, you know, if you will make people out of diamonds, things are going to happen. Things are going to go wrong. Um, right, well, um, the next poem is also from Poetic Ed, and it's called Somewhere in Between. I'm neither short nor tall enough, nor not hard enough, yet neither camp. Seems life gone, life's gone kind of lukewarm, neither hot nor wet, just damp. For my shame, I'm just not mad enough, no, neither harridan nor prude. You can say I've got the balance, I'm first polite, but then I'm rude. I'm caught somewhere in the middle, I'm somewhere in between. Now neither am I butch enough, yet never bitch enough for queen. I like to either be the hobo, or style freak, or hip. I like to say things that are witty, but I wasn't born to quip. I like to be the one they hate so, or the sort that folk admire. But I just don't seem to register, I do not bore, yet don't inspire. Well, I'm not a natural leader, I just prefer to wait and see. In a crisis, I'm oblivious, though you'll never see me flee. I'm caught somewhere on the edges, or lost someplace down the cracks. I'm just the kind comes to I'm just the kind comes to a penny, neither overstressed nor lax. Sure I'm pretty even tempered, no I'll not often tear my hair, though I won't sit there and take it if you decide to not play fair. I've imagination and I use it, but with feet flat on the ground. I don't live up with the cuckoos where my peers can all be found. I'm quite surely indecisive. I'm neither generous nor mean. I'm not the best. I could be bettered. I'm just caught somewhere in between. I'm neither bright nor dull enough. Not fast yet never slow. Neither millionaire nor pauper, although I'd love a tad more dough. My views are just not fully formed enough. I'm an ambitious, lazy yes. Will never win awards as yet, nor am I bothered, I'll confess. I'm just not ever going to thrill you. I'm not the most dynamic bod you've seen. I'm neither one nor am I t'other. I'm simply floating somewhere in between. There we go. But that was called Somewhere in Between. I've not read that poem for, for absolutely yonks. Um, <clears throat> I've got a couple of minutes. What I might do is read a sequel to a poem I read a minute ago. Um, things ain't what they used to be part one. Well, I also wrote Things ain't what they used to be part two. So I'll finish off with that. Things ain't what they used to be. Nothing's what it was. There's no shiny bright nirvana. No more a world, wondrous world of Oz. There are no scaly beasties in the lake at Old Loch Ness. No more nice green cakes for Wurzel. It's just cracker bread and cress. Magic roundabout has been condemned. No more for no more for us to ride. No one wears their general fix it. Nor blue Peter badge with pride. Things ain't what they used to be. Oh, don't it make you weep? Life's a chocolate teapot. There is nothing left to keep. Paddington sits begging with pennies in his cap. The Enterprise can't teleport for long since sent for scrap. Swap shop stopped its swapping. Poor Emu's pecked his last. Mary Poppins in retirement, cackling stories from the past. Things ain't what they used to be, so claim your fifteen minutes now. Quality's been sacrificed, and so has Ermintrude the cow. But listen, things are changing. Now the TARDIS ventures on. We have a chance now to revisit childhood phase we thought were gone. We're running every programme, those reheated laughs restored. New ideas don't seem original, and they're all bought in from abroad. We want things how they used to be, yet we flounder still because it's a world that's lost in static, a Shangri-La that never was. There we go. Right, well, um, I'm just going to finish my broadcast, but I'm going to read a few more. But that's not going to be here. So if you're watching this video, and then you won't get to see what's going to happen next. So anyway, well, thank you anyway for listening. And um, I shall be back uh, um, here tomorrow at 9 o'clock. And um, goodbye. And um, I'm going to keep reading, but you're not going to get to see it. Goodbye.